Hello, in this video, we are going to go over the solution of the problem 547 number of provinces. We are given a couple of cities and those are connected to each other and the connection between them is given to us through a grid. For example, if we consider city 3, city 3 is not connected to city 0 or city 1, but it is connected to city 2 and it is connected to itself. And if we kind of group these cities together, we could see we have two distinct groups, one here and one here, because there is a connection between zero and one, and there is a separate connection between two and three. So we have two groups or two clusters that we are going to call them provinces here. The approach to solve this problem is like this. We are going to visit cities one by one. First, we are going to visit city zero. And when I visit city zero, I'm going to update number of provinces to one. I say, okay, I have a one province. And then I'm going to search around it and visit all of the cities connected to city zero. For this example, that is city one. So we visit city one and we add both of them to our scene set. So city zero and city one are visited now. Then I go for the next city and I say city one. For city one, we know that that is already visited here. As the result, we are going to skip that. And that is not going to be a new province for us. We have only one province up to now. Then I'm gonna go and visit city two. If I visit city two, I update the number of provinces to two. Why? Because that is not visited. City two was not here. And I'm going to visit all of the cities connected to city 2. We could say, for this example, that is only city 3. So we visit city 3 and we add them to the scene set. Now let's see what happens if I visit city 3. City 3, that is already part of a province. So I'm just gonna uh, skip that. So at the end, we are going to return number of provinces that we have so far, which is two. And you can see we have two provinces here. Again, we go over all of the cities one by one. And whenever I'm at a city, I use a search algorithm like PFS or DFS and visit all of the nodes or all of the cities connected to that and add all of them to my scene set. And whenever I'm visiting a city, if it is already part of a scene set, I'm going to skip that and not updating the number of provinces. Okay, in this way, we should be able to solve this problem. Let's look at another example. For example, I could have cities connected like this. And this is only one province because all of them are connected to each other. If I visit city zero and use BFS or DFS, I'm able to visit C city one, city two and city three and all of them will be part of my scene set. Then when I go and visit city one, I can skip that. When I go for the city two, I skip that. For city three, I skip that because they are already all visited when I was at city zero. And the output will be one because we only have one province. Let's look at another example. For a connection like this, we will have three provinces. Okay, now let's write the code. Okay, to write the code, we are going to use BFS and whenever we are going to do that, the first thing that we are going to do is to import DQ. We say from collections, import DQ. Okay, and then I'm going to initiate that and say Q equals DQ. And then also we need a set to record all of the visited cities. We could say scene equals an empty set. The other variable that we need is the variable that we are going to return at the end as the number of provinces. We say number of provinces and we initialize that as zero. And at the end, I'm going to return that number of provinces. Okay. As we said, we are going to go and visit all of the cities one by one. So for doing that, I need a for loop and say for i in range of 
0 to the length of grid so it means that I'm visiting all of the cities one by one if I not in scene if that city that I'm visiting right now is not part of the scene set what I'm gonna do is to update the number of province I'm gonna say number of province plus equals one and we said that if it is not a scene and we are at that one we are not gonna skip we are gonna perform a BFS on that for doing that what we do is that we are going to initialize our queue and we say queue dot append I put the city inside the queue then we start a while loop and we say while queue and then we pop left from the queue call it s queue pop left and then we add that to our scene set scene dot add s okay and then we are going to go and see all of the cities connect to that city that we just popped left and we know that we are given a grid that can help us here a lot and we say for j in range of 0 to the length of grid which is all of the other cities given to us and then we say if grid s s is the city that we are at that city right now j equals 1 it means that there is a connection between s and j and j not in scene if it is already part of another province we ignore that but if it is not that is important what we are going to do is that we are going to append that to our queue say queue append j okay this is pretty much the solution let's run it and we can see the answer is two number of provinces now let's talk about time and space complexity of this algorithm what we did was that if you remember we went over each city and when I'm at a city I'm going to search around all of the cities connected to that so we have a for loop here that we are going to go and go over all of the cities one by one because of that that is order of n here also we are conducting a BFS which requires us to search to see all of the connected nodes to that as a result we have a O of n here as well we're going to visit all of the nodes so the BFS is inside the this for loop as a result our total time complexity is n to the power of 2 also we created a queue that queue could get very large and at maximum that would be order of n and also we have this scene that we are we need n spots to record the visited nodes which results in a space complexity of order of n where n is just length of the grid okay this was the BFS solution to this problem now let's look at the DFS solution to this problem which is shown on the left side of the screen and compare it to the solution that we just had for, that used BFS so for DFS solution the approach is the exact same thing we are again going to visit each city in and you can see we have the same for loop and but this time instead of searching BFS we are going to use DFS let's look at the, what is the difference between these two algorithms the first thing that you could notice is that I'm not gonna import the queue you don't need to do that in DFS the second thing that you can see he is here we initialized a queue and in BFS and said Q equals DQ here I initialized by an empty list here a stack so this is how we initialize that again scene is similar number of provinces is similar for loop first line similar second line if similar and then here you added a value to Q by Q dot append I for a stack that's the list again you can do the same thing and say stack dot append I and then when you start 
it started the while loop in BFS, you would say while queue, here you say while stack. And the other difference is that when you want to pop some things from a queue, you say queue.pop left, but for a stack, you are going to use the command dot pop. Scene is similar, the other for loop is similar, rest of the code is similar, and time and space complexities are exact same. So again, a stack, we initialize with an empty list, and when I need to add something to that, I say a stack dot append, and whenever I want to pop something out of that, I use the command a stack dot pop. That's it. Okay, this is the solution to the problem 547, and thank you so much again for watching this video.